Take us to your western skies No matter how hard we try We never to you. Uh, I am Colin Lamb, aka The Tone Wizard, and welcome to Ween Talk, episode 10, entitled Ween Mystery Track Question Mark, or Mystery Song Question Mark, whatever I choose to name it. I do that after I make the videos. Uh, so yeah, happy Sunday to you, wherever you may be. I'm up here um, on a rather smoky Sunday in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. There are fires raging, and these are not the usual metaphorical political fires that are raging uh, down south, but uh, down in America, they're having some bad fires. Um, so if you're watching from somewhere down on the uh, western um, western coast of the United States, uh, I hope that you are safe from the fires, and I hope you are just safe in general. And that's all I'm going to say about that, but it is a smoky Sunday. Um, I played some golf today, and uh, I am a lot angrier than I was before I played the golf. Um, went out there with the lady. It was going to be a good time. I thought I thought it was going to be a good time, but I, I fucking suck at golf. So the anger levels were jacked right up. I wasn't sure if I was going to make a video today. I've got some pangs of hunger going on, but we're going to do this video anyways. Um, and before I start into the video, um, I do want to give some shout outs to uh, some people who've been commenting on, on the previous videos and subscribing and um, and just participating in some of the conversations that uh, I hope that we can have uh, on this channel. So Bradley Swanson, thank you for your contributions to this video and some of the other, or sorry, to the last video and uh, for some of your comments from the other videos. Um, Brad actually put up a pretty sweet compilation of songs um, that would make up a sort of new bootleg album. Uh, if, if Ween were to have released one over the last couple of years. That was really cool. He actually sent me the Dropbox link. I don't think it's up anymore, but thank you very much for that, Bradley. And thank you to Jose Diaz um, for your comments and for your uh, ongoing participation on the channel. So uh, thank you to everybody who subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please uh, do so. Like the video. That that sort of helps me get this, uh, this stuff out to more people, and I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, we're going to dig into this video now. Um, so Ween mystery song question mark um i played that very song uh, of question at the beginning of this video and if you recognize the song um that's great if you recognize the song as being a ween song you are absolutely incorrect and uh thus the title of this video now in order to kind of get into this video i want to talk about some backstory so let me take you back to 2009 and it'd be really cool if there was a harp drop there some kind of suspenseful flashback sound but we don't fucking have it here. So, uh, you know, maybe when I hit 200 subscribers, I'll be able to afford that kind of thing. But in any event, let me take you back to 2009. So in 2009, I received a mix CD from a friend of mine named John Irvin. And on that were various Ween tracks. He'd heard some of my original music and he thought it sounded a lot like Ween. Now, I'd never heard Ween at the time, but nonetheless, he gave me this mix CD and said, I think you'll dig this band. So it had a bunch of stuff on it. And I think that the... the um, the, the collection of songs was actually from a zip folder that had been traded around on LimeWire and the Pirate Bay and peer-to-peer -peer torrent sort of sites, all the way going back to Napster. And um, there were tons of great tracks on there, but one of the tracks, I think it was track three on this particular compilation, um, I still have it actually somewhere, but on this particular compilation was called Zoloft. Um, and as we all know, Zoloft is a song which is off of Quebec, I, I believe. Um, and anyways, it was the song that I played for, uh, for you at the beginning of, um, of, of the video. And as luck would have it, that was actually my favorite song on the compilation. I was actually a new Ween fan, um, so admittedly my Ween roots don't go back as long as some people, but that CD kind of got me going on Ween, and that song in particular really hooked me in. Uh, and I, I wanted to, later on, I think I burned the CD out, I wore some of the tracks out, so later on I wanted to learn how to play this song, and I wanted to download the song, and I kept searching for it uh, in sort of Ween, you know, under the search of Ween, and I could not find the song. So 
So, um, yeah, so I searched on Google and searched and searched and searched. And eventually I kind of fell down a little rabbit hole that I discovered other people had previously fallen down as well. Now, the song online, when people described the lyrics, had the name uh, Ken. Kim, it was called Kim Smoltz, it was called Zoloft, it was called Western Skies, it was called a lot of things actually, and I actually believed that the name in the song at the beginning was Ken and not Kim for a while, so I was searching for the song Ken by Ween and Western Skies, and I kept finding videos of the song attributed to Ween, but I couldn't find it on an album and I couldn't find chords and so on and so on and so forth. So eventually what i discovered was i think it was a reddit thread and i tried to find that original thread but i couldn't find it but i discovered on a reddit thread that the song had originally been released by a band called the vintage chimps in uh, england and that the song was wrongly attributed back in the napster days where you you download one song peer to peer the song was just labeled uh under ween zola for whatever reason and um I did a little bit of digging, and I found that um, the band, the Vintage Chimps, had put the song out. People started calling it Zoloft, and they just never bothered to correct anybody because it brought the song great popularity, and I think that they actually enjoyed a bit of the mystery. Now, um, I can take you to an article, which I'll share a link in, but I will... Um, I will... Boom! There it is. So first of all, I'll share a link for you. Um, this is uh, just a, a, a version of the song on YouTube. I don't know if the Vintage Chimps have a YouTube channel, but uh, um, yeah, I think that you should go check this video out. Um, so you can listen to the song, and towards the end of the song, um, there's actually... Let me just get this out of here. Um, towards the end of the song, there are some synth parts and stuff that actually do sound a lot like something that Ween would do. And so you can kind of see why just sonically somebody may have made the mistake. Maybe they were the first person to share the file that way. People traded the song, and because it was all online and there was no face-to-face -face trading of this music, um, and you weren't buying it from a record store where things would be packaged and labeled, nobody ever corrected it. So... Um, I will take you to an article, though, that kind of gives you a little bit of the backstory that might explain it uh, maybe just a little more concisely than I have. Um, this is on a website called Handkerchief Tied to Stick. Um, there's a nice little summary of the story there and the video there, and even a nice little personal anecdote at the end here. The person says, regardless of its actual origin, it's a great song, and its popularity is a testament to the fact that however much we may love a good story, the art is more important than the artist. I listened to it looking over the Pacific Ocean, utterly alone on my very first flight to Taiwan. Oh, boo fucking who, pal. I had to go to Taiwan. I had to be there. And the only thing that saved me amidst all the cheap liquor, easy women, and delicious street food was a song falsely attributed to Wayne. All right, I went a little hard on that, but uh, no, it's a good article. You should read it out, uh, I, even though I just kind of shit on it. Sorry about that. But um, in any event, uh, yeah, it's a song by the Vintage Chimps. Um, so when I dug a little bit deeper, I kind of wanted to get their side um, of the story. And uh, I actually found uh, two places that they had actually responded um, to people asking them about the, uh, about the song. Now, I actually messaged them on Facebook, and they did not respond to me. I assume they've moved on with their lives, because this all kind of happened a long time ago. So anyways, here is a SoundCloud page. It's their SoundCloud page, um, where they basically say, in, in what I assume are their own words, Kim, Western Sky, Zoloft, whatever you know it by, this is our song. Years later, we found it plastered across the internet, shrouded in mystery. No mystery. This was an ode to our craft dinner eating Canadian friend uh, who left the UK to go home. Very simple song, and hopefully we will re-record it one day to get rid of the awful guitar sound that was recorded at home. Now, I, for one, hope that they never do re-record that song, and I don't think they will because it's been a long time since they wrote that, but I think that the the kind of corny guitars, that's kind of something that Ween did a lot in the early days, um, the corny kind of distorted, poorly recorded, whatever it is, guitars kind of add something to the track, in my opinion. So there was one place that they had responded. Now, I also found an old Facebook thread where they responded to it as well. So this is a post from November the 15th, 
2013 where somebody kind of asked them something's frozen there on my shit there it goes so you guys release kim and falsely tag it as western skies or zoloft by ween a shit ton of people downloaded it and like it and realize it's not ween great marketing strategy to distribute your music but you fuck up by never coming out that the song is by you i still have it in my playlist it's been the biggest music mystery for me for 10 years until today so you can see that other people were also on this mystery and then the vintage chimps whoever they may be responded themselves so haha it wasn't exactly intentional to be honest however a bit of a misfire we never really continued as a band after that due to geographical locations and all being mental quite frankly but there's a lot of love out there and we've been very grateful for it i can confirm indeed that it was us glad people liked it may we start a campaign for christmas number one next year uh we may start anyway so yeah that is uh, two of their responses, which I think definitely confirm that it was most definitely, in fact, um, them. So let's get that out of there. Okay, so um, basically, that's that's the the whole story on that. I, I always thought that that was interesting, and I always had a personal connection to it, and I never knew that there was a Canadian connection to it about a guy eating craft dinner. Um, if you don't know what craft dinner is, if you're watching somewhere where they don't have craft dinner as a Canadian, I feel obligated to tell you to Google craft dinner, order some off Amazon. It is a fine dish. It is an affordable dish. It is the dish of the people up here. And, uh, you know, during the, the lockdowns from the pandemic, I ate a lot of craft dinner and it saw me through along with the, the, the gentle, gentle sonic soothing sounds of, of Western skies or Kim by the vintage chimps. But, uh, in all seriousness, um, I think it's a great song and I I think on the on the Facebook the vintage chimps response that they're glad people that like it and I think the other response that we read about people just liking the song I think it's a cool story um, and I, I don't actually think it was a deliberate mark deliberate marketing marketing I don't think it was a deliberate marketing strategy that by them I think it's just something that sort of happened on the internet and uh, I'm glad it did because I fucking love the track um, that wraps that thing up, but uh, I kind of wanted to start a new segment on these videos um, that just kind of highlights some some good sources of Ween stuff that you can find on YouTube and around the internet because that's kind of what I'm doing here on the channel is I'm compiling resources and stuff so that years from now, um, you know, people can look back and find all this great stuff and it's kind of aggregated and, and in one spot. And I like doing this, um, to be honest with you. I started this channel because I wanted to teach myself how to use video, video editing software and and all that shit and now I'm just having fun doing it I gotta tell you some of my friends they they think that I'm a loser uh for doing this uh they think I should be doing other stuff with my time but you know what what the fuck are they doing huh you know what the fuck are you doing with your life if you're not doing something you want to do so stop fucking around with me and uh yeah let's not get let's not get into that here I'm kind of losing it today as I uh, mentioned the golf kind of fucking got me fired right the fuck up but uh anyways this new segment uh on ween talk episode 10 is going to be called uh, Shit I Like. Let's just call it that. Uh, and the particular piece of shit that I enjoy is a ween show that I found on YouTube years ago that I watch probably every couple of weeks. It's definitely something that I watch when I come home wasted uh, at 2 in the morning, of course, pre-pandemic. Now it's just I'm here so I can do it at 9. I can do it at 7 anytime I want. But uh, I found a show uh, from Las Vegas in 1992 uh, it's just the duo of them playing with the drum machine and the old, uh, the old vintage setup. And it's, it's fucking fantastic. Um, let me just get that going up here for you. I'm going to put links to all this stuff, um, in the description. Um, but it's ween 1992, May the 6th, Las Vegas, Nevada at the shark club. It's fucking fantastic. It opens with a brilliant version of squelch the weasel fat Lenny boing, Puerto Rican power. And let me, uh, lick your pussy. It's a fucking fantastic performance. It shows them at a time, um, when they were unfettered with all the pressures of success and the, uh, um, the thundering drums of an actual drummer, um, I will point out. But uh, it's a really great video. There's really great versions of those songs, and I'm sure you'll like it just as much as I do. Um, I also want to give uh, another shout out to something that I, someone that I found on Instagram. It's the user Wiener Ocean Man. He's got some really cool shit uh, on his Instagram. I don't know where he finds this, but he's got absolutely fantastic photos of them from all across time. Look, there's little tiny tiny little baby deaner um but they, they've got like look at this shit they've got he's got photos from the pod recording sessions 
in here. Just really old stuff, really cool photos that you probably haven't seen anymore. So head on over there and give him a follow on Instagram if you feel so inclined. And please tell him that the Tone Wizard sent you. Um, by the way, if you feel inclined, what the f There we go. You can also follow me. Um, have I done? Yeah, I did it right for the fucking first time. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook um, on those links at the side there. Um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you feel like doing so. Thank you very much for watching. And, uh, you know, I, I got to calm down today. I got to, you know, I got to manifest. I got to, I got to focus my chakras. I got to, I got to make a ball of happiness and I got to fucking jam it in my fucking face. So I just fucking settle the